Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong authentication to your Microsoft Remote Desktop Gateway using Radius by deploying a LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance and configuring your RD Gateway Manager and Network Policy Server. I recommend to follow this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click Domains and then click Create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click Create to cr complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now install and configure the LoginTC Radius Connector Appliance in your virtualization infrastructure. Virtual appliance images are available in OVF slash OVA and VHD formats for both VMware ESXi and Hyper-V. You should first download the LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance image from the download section of our documentation website. See the video description for a list of relevant links. Log into your VMware ESXi console, click create slash register VM, select deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or OVA file, click next, then click to add the relevant OVF files. Enter a name for the appliance and click next. Select your relevant storage and select your desired provisioning. Now that you've completed the new VM wizard, click Finish. To view the newly deployed virtual appliance, select the new instance and then open up the console. The LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance is now ready for configuration. Now configure your newly deployed LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance. Hit the escape key and pick a password for the LoginTC-user user. This password will be used when logging into the virtual appliance's web-based interface. Next, set up the network configuration. It is important to pick a static IP address so that DHCP does, does, don't affect functionality. Next, configure the DNS. You can select an external or internal DNS server. Finally, turn on the web server. Now that the web server is turned on, Open up a new tab in your browser and navigate to the URL indicated in the bottom right hand corner. Enter the same password you configured originally to log in. Now your login C Radius Connector virtual appliance is ready to be configured to accept authentication requests. Now you're going to add a new configuration to accept authentication requests. Click create your first configuration. Retrieve your application ID an application API key from the LoginTC administration panel. If you have not created an application, click Applications. Type Microsoft, then click Microsoft Remote Desktop Gateway. Copy the application ID and paste it. Next, get the application API key by clicking Click to View. Copy the application API key and paste it. Click Test and Next. Now configure first factor authentication, also known as password authentication. Since the remote desktop gateway will be performing first factor authentication, a password will not be sent to the LoginTC Radius connector. Select None for first factor authentication. Click Next. Pass through is an optional feature where you can configure which users must be challenged with second factor. You can use a static list of usernames or Active Directory group memberships. This is useful for testing in a production environment or to control the two-factor authentication rollout to your user base. In this video, all users will be challenged. Finally, configure the Radius client, which in this case is your Microsoft Remote Desktop Gateway. Enter the name of the client, which will appear in your configurations list. Enter the IP address of the Microsoft Remote Desktop Gateway. Remember to pick the IP address from the network perspective of the deployed LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance. 
enter a secret that will be shared between your Microsoft Remote Desktop Gateway and the LogInTC Radius Connector. Select Direct for the authentication mode. Usernames in Remote Desktop Gateway are typically in the form corp slash John Doe, while in the LogInTC Admin panel, it is generally more convenient to simply use John Doe. By enabling normalized usernames, the users will simply be treated by their username and not their down-level logon name. Under Username Normalization, select Yes, Normalize Usernames. Scroll down, click Test, and Save. Now the configuration is added and ready to be used. Now create a user and test your configuration. Go to the Administration panel and from the Domains tab, click your newly created domain. Scroll down and click Create Member. The username must match the username in your Active Directory or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address, and click Create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with LoginTC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the new token on your test device. Launch the LoginTC app, click Add Token, and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your LoginTC domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with LoginTC. Click the user to confirm the token is loaded. Now click Test Token to open the Test Token modal. Click Send Notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. You can also perform a test from the LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. This test verifies that both first and second factor authentication configurations are accurate. This is a great way to confirm that the configuration is correct before modifying your Radius client. Click Test Configuration to open the Test Configuration modal. Enter the username and password and click Test Configuration. Approve the request. This test confirms that both first and second factor authentication are configured properly. Now configure your remote desktop gateway. On the LoginTC Radius Connector Appliance, under the Settings tab, you can see the configured IP address and Radius authentication and accounting ports. On the Windows Server running the Remote Desktop Gateway role, launch the Remote Desktop Gateway Manager to begin configuration. Right-click on your Remote Desktop Server in the left sidebar and click Properties. Select the RD Cap Store tab. Select Central Server Running NPS Radio button. Enter the IP address of your LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance and press Add. Enter the shared secret that you configured on the LoginTC Radius Connector and press OK. Press OK once again. The RD Gateway Manager is configured. Close the RD Gateway Manager. Next, launch the Network Policy Server Manager. Expand Radius Clients and Servers in the left sidebar. Select Remote Radius Server. Right click on TS Gateway Server Group and click on Properties. Select your Radius Server and press Edit. Select the Load Balancing tab. Set the number of seconds without response before request is considered dropped to 120. Also set number of seconds between requests when services identified as unavailable to 120. Press Apply. Press OK and press OK once again. Expand Policies in the left sidebar. Click on Connection Request Policies. 
right-click on TS Gateway Authorization Policy and select Properties. Click the Settings tab. Select Authentication and ensure that it's set to Forward Request to the Remote Radius Server. Click OK. Click on Policies in the left sidebar, then click Network Policies. Right-click on your RDG CAP policy and select Properties. Click on the Conditions tab. Select the Called Station ID attribute and press Edit. Set the value to User Auth Type colon Open Bracket PW Pipe CA Close Bracket. Press OK. Press OK once again. Your remote desktop gateway is now configured to use Login TC. Now test the remote desktop gateway. There are many ways to access a remote desktop gateway. The following two examples show how to test using an RDP file and then using the MSTSC program. Double click an RDP file configured to leverage the remote desktop gateway. Enter your username and password. Press OK to immediately receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your remote desktop gateway securely using LoginTC multi-factor authentication. Next, launch the MSTSC program. It is assumed that the remote desktop connection program is using your remote desktop gateway. Enter the computer you wish to connect to press connect. Enter your username and password and press OK to immediately receive a notification on your device. Tap approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your remote desktop gateway securely using LoginTC multi-factor authentication.